the number one bad habit of singers, beginner through very experienced, regardless of style. This is so common and shows the world poor technique and looks bad. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. 30 years of teaching voice, 42 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, including voice teachers and choral directors. I take serious vocal technique and make it simple and fun. So what is this number one bad habit of singers? The collapsing chest. I am a real stickler about this because when you're singing, people can't see what's going on in the midsection and in your back, but everybody sees what's going on in the chest. Everybody sees when you go to sing and your chest collapses. It will make you weak, it will make you tired, and it looks very amateurish. So remember, first of all, your chest is part of your posture. So if we see your chest rising like this when you sing, well then your chest wasn't in the right position to begin with as part of your posture. Then of course, this gets worse as the song goes on. Let's get started with exercise one. I want you to stand up and we're going to speak ah, uh, just naturally like you're talking to somebody and then I want you to sing just random pitches no need to always have to walk over to the piano okay and when you sing in this first exercise I want you to let everything collapse and I want you to see what it feels like so I'll do it first ah ah okay here we go ah ah or higher up ah ah does that look good no you look defeated and also when the chest collapses, those ribs collapse. Ah, okay, then the back narrows. Ah, not good for singing. Besides that, it completely overblows the vocal folds. So on top of that, you look bad and you sound breathy. Remember that keeping your chest comfortably high and wide is part of your breath support, your apoyo. Those are your lungs in there so you can't afford to sing with your chest collapsed. We're not going to get into all the details here because you have many of my videos in my playlist on breathing and breath support. So let's do this exercise again. This time I want you to have your one hand on your upper and lower abs and your fingertips in your sternum with the other hand, okay? We're going to do the exercise first wrong and then right. First wrong would be like this. Ah, ah, here we go. Ah, ah, any pitch, I don't care. Now, we're going to do it correctly and it's going to sound like this. Ah, 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 ah. Here we go. Ah, ah. Low voice. Ah, ah. I don't care what pitches you choose. The idea is you are supporting with your upper and lower abdominals, which go all the way around front sides and back, remember? And by keeping the chest up. So you're Tone quality is so much clearer. Your onset is clearer. Let's do it again. Lower voices can be down here. Ah. Uh, higher voices can be up here. Ah. Uh, here we go. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You see the difference? When the chest stays up and you support properly, your onset, your first note, the beginning of the tone is much better your vocal folds will come together more efficiently. You'll have better sound with less work. Isn't that what we all want? Watch my video on the onset, the beginning of the tone. And when you don't collapse the chest, not only is the beginning of the song better, the middle of the song is better. And at the end, where usually the big money notes are, you've got more strength and stamina. I worked with someone today on this song. What if I sang like this? Think of me, think of me fondly when we said goodbye. You see, at the end of that longer phrase, I'm already on empty. My ribs are squeezing, my chest is collapsed. When I get to the big note at the end, I'm going to be out of steam. What about this? I worked on this song with a student a few days ago. What if I went, sweet Caroline, 
Good times never felt so good. Okay, well, that's just the beginning of the song. But as the song went on, he got more and more tired. And then at the end, he was into the squeeze. Remember, you can have a beautiful voice and still not be singing optimally. We want to sing smarter, not harder. So let's go on to exercise three. We're going to repeat the first two notes and then continue into a five-tone scale like this. Ah, 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 or upper voices. Ah, ah, ah. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Chest stays up. Higher voices. Ah, ah, ah. Next, we're going to do the same thing. But now we're going to open up our arms like we're hugging a big tree. Some people overdo this, and I have to show you the wrong way. Some people think it's this, okay? This is not right. First of all, this is not comfortably high and wide. This is too wide, this is too high, and it narrows the back. Not good for singing. So, comfortably high and wide, here's the tree. Not out there, that's not a tree. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. So, same notes, mm, or higher voices. Here we go. Again. Again. One more time. Now, how much breath do you need? To sing one note, hardly anything, right? Ah, but the chest doesn't need to ride up and down. For the five-tone scale, ah, yes, you need more. But if you have a lot of air left at the end of the phrase, you overbreathe, my friend. You better watch my video on how much air do you really need. Don't be discouraged if you don't get this right away. This can take some time, but remember, Progress starts with the awareness. You are wise to work on this because everybody sees the collapsing chest and it costs you as you continue to sing your song that way. Work this into your regular practice routine and make sure that you know how to apply it to your songs. Also, if you still have not ordered Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program, I can help you have more structure in your practice and I can tell you what types of exercises to do for your particular vocal needs. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. The chest stays up no matter what when you are singing. You will sound better and you will look more professional. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, follow me on social media, and continue keeping your chest comfortably high and wide when you sing. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.